What is it? Vlogmas day five. Is it the fifth today? I think it's the fifth. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Vlogmas day five. Today I am off work now and I'm gonna go meet a friend for dinner. I was supposed to meet two friends, but one of them unfortunately is sick. So she is gonna rest up and I think she's gonna be coming to the Minnesota Planner meetup on Saturday, which will be really fun. But whatever kind of illness and sickness she has, I don't want any part of it. So rest up summer. I hope you're gonna feel better on Saturday and I hope to see you then. So my friend Kate is coming to dinner and what is going on with my shirt? My goodness. Seriously, ah, like having technical difficulties. I should not put on a restrained little belt situation before I start filming. It's just all the malfunctions. So now, let me grab my phone. It is 3.13. I don't have dinner. Well, we were supposed to have dinner at 6.30, but then now Summer isn't coming because she's not feeling well, but Kate can be there at like 4.30, 4.45 which means I have like over an hour to like literally do nothing. So I kept joking with them saying, you're gonna find me in the hour, uh, in the hours, you're gonna find me in the aisles of Target in the fetal position because I'm gonna be like, I wanna spend all the money because I have nothing to do with my time. But what I think I'm gonna do is I am gonna be really close to Fridley, which is like where I grew up. And I think I've shown this before in a vlog, but I'm not 100% sure. I am gonna show you guys where I used to live. Uh, my parents don't live there anymore, obviously. Don't mind me, that's just a big train in the background. I think I'm gonna take you on a, like, a little tour of Fridley. Um, I actually lived at two different houses and I'm gonna start with the house that I used to live in most recently, which was obviously a long time ago. Um, this is the house that my parents moved out of and then they got their house in Florida and then I will go to like my childhood home, which is the house that my parents got when, like actually before I was born. So I actually lived there till I think I was in, was it second grade, maybe third grade? I think it was second grade. The summer after second grade maybe, um, we moved into this like larger home that I will show you in a little bit. So there is a train behind me. I need to wait for the train to pass, but let's go look at some houses, okay? Okay. Right. Oh my gosh, I'm still recording. Ah! All right, so this is my parents' last home. Um, this is right next to East River Road, right on the Mississippi River. And um, they must be in like painting because the, the new owners, I mean. Um, oh, I got a text message. Um, the color originally that it was is like that brick, like down on the bottom there. And then that light gray and then there was like a white trim, but now they're doing all the trim black and then it looks like they're doing like the sagey green. So I don't know, they must be in the middle of painting the house. Um, and the door is like this kind of cornflower blue, which it always originally has been. So anyway, they got a lot of, they got a lot of stuff going on in this house now, so whatever. But yeah, this is my last childhood home that my parents moved out of. Um, I feel kind of super creepy because there's obviously a car in the driveway, so I really hope that they're not like in the front like picture window, just like, who's that creepy chick? Oh, hello garbage man or woman. I don't know your gender, sorry. It's so weird being here, you guys, so weird. All right, so before they like call the cops, I better go, so I will see you guys at the next house. All right, and here is the original. This is the OG of where I grew up. The house color is very different. It used to be like a bright white with dark hunter green trim, but it looks very different now. There was actually like a whole bunch of like shrubberies and stuff in the very front, um, but those have been taken out over the years, it looks like. Kind of weird being here. It just it doesn't look anything like I remember it just because the color is so incredibly different, and obviously I haven't been here in forever and a day. But this was a really cute little rambler with like a full basement underneath. Um, I remember the backyard feeling like it was really big. Obviously, I'm not gonna go back there. I mean, I'm, I'm already creeping a little hard right now. And then I've got some like random person that's gonna walk by. This is like really fucking weird. <laughs> this guy, oh my God. <laughs> He's like, why is this chick filming? I don't understand. Like, he keeps looking back at the house like, what is so great about this house? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. The adventures of vlogging, you guys. All right, well, I better get out of here because someone's going to call the cops on me for creeping and taking video or <laughs> photos of someone's random house. I legit don't know anyone that lives here, obviously. So, yeah. But anyway, this is the cute little house that I grew up in. This is my original OG gangsta house. So baby Emily grew up in this house. And so did baby Philip. That's my brother. You guys will actually end up meeting my brother. I don't think he's ever been on camera before on any of my videos, actually. Um... We will see him when I go to Florida in a little while. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep driving and maybe I'll find some other cool things to show you guys around Fridley. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so memory lane continues. I figured since the original house that I grew up in was so close to my school and community center that I would kind of show you around Fridley a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna sit in the car because y'all, I've been creeping so hard today. But anyway, um, here is the Fridley water tower, which is very exciting. Bam! There it is. Look, it's exciting, right? So there is the water tower in all its glory. Right behind the water tower is the Fridley Middle School, and then the other side of the road is the high school. Um, you can't really see the high school, but you can see like the football field, like the bleachers in the football field on the right-hand side. Okay. So I am actually in the parking lot of Commons Park. If anybody knows anything about Commons Park, it's right here. There's like a whole like playground like farther out. I'm not gonna go there. But fun fact about field number two. Are you excited about this, you guys? You're learning like way too much about me today. Field number two, that is actually where I learned where to play t-ball. I remember I played t-ball as a young child and we learned on field number two. There's also another field like over to the left, but it was field number two that I had to go to. I think it was like once a week or something, but I learned how to play t-ball. I actually was on, like did softball for a little while as a kid, like not in high school or middle school. It was like kid stuff, you know, like grade school time, but that was at a different park. But I remember field number two is where I started to play t-ball, which I think I only did for like one season or something. It was kind of like to get you warmed up for like baseball or softball. I think back in the day, like there wasn't these like bleachers. There was just like the field. I don't even think there was a fence actually. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. So yeah. Interestingly enough, right across the parking lot, there's this little spiffy building with the American flag on it. That's the Fridley Community Center. I actually did daycare in there for a long, long time. Like, I actually went to daycare. I, the way I phrased it, I did daycare. It sounds like I was, like, the daycare provider. No, I was I was the child in the situation. Um, it looks like a really tiny building because the camera angle, but it's actually a very, very large building. That's just, like, the little side entrance. And I think over the years, they've actually built onto it a little bit. They've expanded some, it seems like. So anyway, that is my Fridley tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's kind of weird coming back to these places after, like, so long of not being here. Remember the last time I was here? I think I actually vlogged the last time I was, like, physically, like, in this parking lot. I think it was my Fridley reunion, like, my all-class reunion. Union? Yeah, I think so. If you guys look back in like my old vlogs, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But yeah, it was weird being there then too, so <laughs> it's just weird being here. I always feel like coming back to like your childhood home or your childhood like place, you know, regardless if your parents like live there or not, it just, I don't know, it just makes you feel different. Like it makes you feel like, I don't know, it makes you feel like younger than I really am or something. Like I just remember those memories a little bit more clear because obviously I'm, you know, not sitting on the street of my childhood home every day. So, I mean, it's kind of cool though. I mean, I don't have any like bad, horrible memories or anything, but you know, it's just kind of one of those cool things that, you know, it's kind of nice that I'm back in the area and I can go check it out if I want to. And who is texting me? Kristen, what you need, girl? Uh-oh, showing me photos of her baby. Her baby is cute. Whoop, that's all you get. That's all you get. I don't know if she wants me to show her baby. Hee <laughs> hee, she's got a cute one. She's got a cute kid. You guys, I haven't even killed that much time. It's only 3.39. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I have like another like hour and I don't wanna go to Target because I know I'm gonna spend money and I don't wanna spend money. And I really don't need anything. Oh, you know what I do need? I need apples. Maybe I will go to Target. I feel like I'm gonna go spend money I don't have. Well, I mean, I have money, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't wanna spend money. Ugh. Um, 
Yeah, well maybe I'll go and just get some apples. Maybe wander around a little bit. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Well, let's go wander the aisles of Target and then I'll show you what I get. Hopefully it's just apples. What is up with this shirt? Why is it like coming into my face like this? Freaking shirt. Get it together. Get it together, shirt. Ugh. Okay, so the sun has set. I have this weird light on, which is why I look like neon pink right now. And I got some stuff at Target. I did get my apples. I did get what I came for. However, I did get a couple of other things for a Christmas gift. I have a little kid that I buy for that has some sensory stuff. So I thought these would be kind of cool. Um, these are like those little suction cup things and you can like, you know, I don't know. I just thought they were kind of cool and smooshy. And then, other thing I got, which I thought were kind of cool, and these were all in like the party section, are these little balls that are like spiky, but they're like, like soft and smooshy too. So I thought those would be kind of cool too. Um, just cause they like, you know, they feel, um, you know, interesting in your hands. And that is all I got besides apples here's all my apples mm. so yeah that's all i got at target i was really really good i did walk through a bunch of aisles but we're not gonna talk about that because i wanted to buy all the things but i didn't because i was being good i was being good but anyway um kate just sent me a message saying that she just left her office so she should be arriving at Dragon House very soon. So I'm gonna go to Dragon House and get our table ready, which means that I am just gonna go and drink some copious amounts of tea and wait for her. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Boom! Let's turn another light on cause the lighting in here sucks. The lighting in here sucks. Hi! Hello! Whee! Are you dizzy? Cause I'm dizzy. Uh. All right, so I am home from Dragon House. Sorry I didn't vlog. Uh, my friend Kate and I were having a really good discussion about things, so it just didn't seem appropriate to vlog that. Vlog that? Vlog that? Wow. Um, you guys will be happy to know that I am not wearing my Fargo, or not Fargo, that North shirt. I'm wearing a different one. This is like from Target a couple months ago. Anyway, I feel cool because this one has thumb holes. See? <laughs> I feel neat. Okay, but I wanted to show you some packages that I got today. So, let's take a look. All right, so I got some packages. I got this bad boy from Etsy. This is obviously from Amazon. It's all wet because it's been raining all day. And this is the stuff that I got from Target. And, oh, I'm just realizing I have a whole bag of balls. <laughs> it's all balls, get it? It's all balls. I have my ring light because the lighting in here is really bad when there's no natural lighting outside. So, bag of balls needs light. Whoop whoop. All right, let me put this away and then I'll get into these guys. Seriously, this whole box is for this. Really? It's a body brush. And it's got like a dry, dry brush thing. Yeah, I got it for myself. Oh my gosh. This whole box is for this. It just seems very wasteful. Come on, Amazon, get it together. It seems super wasteful. Ugh. And the box is like soaked. Gross. Since my ring light is still on, maybe I could probably turn that off. Okay, and then I got some stuff from Etsy, which I will show you. So cute. Why do I have two of those? Okay, well, whatever. Let's bust out the packing slip. Let's hope it doesn't have my, um, okay, it doesn't have my information on there. All right, let's open this up. This is from, let me show you. I'm covering up a little coupon code because I think this is for people that order, not for like everybody. So this is from Created by Danielle. So cute. And then, um, yeah, I got this from Black Friday. So let me open this up and we can take a peek at it. This is like difficult to do one-handed. Haha. -ha. Aha! And I actually have a question for you guys about this. Um, like if you want to see a video on how I'm going to put something together. Whoa! All right. So, oh, that's cute. She included this little sampler. That's a sticker. 
like a sticker, little mini sticker sheet. I guess she does stickers too, but I've just like never been into them. Okay, I'm gonna put that off to the side. Well, what the heck? Why are there so many of these? I don't understand. Why? Why are there so? Did I order all of these? I don't know. Did I? You know how like. I mean, obviously Black Friday wasn't that long ago, like seriously, but I know I ordered them on Black Friday. I just can't remember what I ordered. I only, okay, so I only ordered one of these. Huh, I don't know why there's two of them in my order. Oh, you know what? I did order two of them. Oh, I see. I ordered one in gold and one in silver. Oh, I meant to just order one. Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. I actually will have a use for that. So that is just fine. So anyway, she has these really nice like felt um, paper clips, which I think are really nice. Oh, this is probably really gross, you guys. I'm sorry. Dirty dishes that I need to take care of. Um, but yeah, she stitches all of these. Come on, can you focus? Can you focus? Can you focus? No, can't focus. Anyway, she stitches all of these on um, like really nice felt and then you know, puts them on the back. And so, yeah, these are just like little planner clips, which I think are really cute. And then, let's see, that one's fall. So yeah, I don't know, I just thought these were really, really cute. I've actually gotten things from her before. And um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just thought they were really cute. However, okay, so here is my question. All right, so she had these which is like a little first aid kit which i'm gonna use in my vehicle and actually this is all um sewn really nicely and then it has a little bit of like black on black design on that which i think is really pretty there's also a red one and i think there's another black and white but then that has like white stitching in the middle but what I want to do is I want to use this little first aid pouch for in my car. And I want it to just live in my car with like band-aids and ointment and like gauze pads and like things like that. So my question for you guys is would you be interested in seeing a video of how I put my first aid kit together for my car? If you'd be interested, let me know in the comments below and I can do that video at some point. I will tell you there is a massive amount of videos that I have like already kind of in the pipeline for the month of December and January. So that probably won't be up till like the end of January, early February, if you guys are interested. So just let me know, just let me know. I mean, cause this is not like a video that has a specific like timeline or anything. There are some videos that obviously I have to do like every month, like favorites and um, like monthly budgets and things like that that are like more pertinent to the month. So anyway, um, so yeah, but let me know on this. I'm really excited about this. Yay. And then I'm also very excited about this body brush situation, but um, I'm not excited about the stupid box. Like, that's just silly. It's just silly. Okay, so I need to get this vlog figured out. Um, I'm actually like in my purse right now, messing with stuff. Um, yeah, I need to get this vlog figured out because I got home like really, really late. Oh, here's the cord I'm looking for. Sorry if you're like looking at the top of my head, like that's pretty stupid. Um, I needed my little cord so I can download all my footage. But I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here. It is 8.32, so I got home pretty late, unfortunately, but it was good because I got to see my friend Kate, so yay. Hi, Kate, if you're watching. Also, hi, Summer, if you're watching too. I know you're sick, so hopefully you're better. <laughs> but I am going to put all of my planner things away and let me know what you guys think about the first aid kit situation. Um, I would love to do a video on that, but I just don't know if you guys would be interested. So I don't know, let me know. If you're not, that's totally cool too. But like I said, I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I need to get this footage at least uploaded into my computer, if not actually edited and rendered and saved and all of that stuff. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. That's a close on day five. Wow, I've got a whole bunch more of these to go and I feel like it's getting boring. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of Fridley and I will see you all in the next vlog. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Bye-bye.